Jeff, it's great to see you. Um, just tell us how the last six and a half years have been since Jay died for your two boys. Um, for the lads, obviously, um, you go through stages in bereavement. Um, and when you're, when you're five or four years old as they were and, and you've lost your mum, um, obviously the, 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 first, the first couple of months were a little bit just trying to work out where the floor was. Uh, and then you go through a strange period, actually, which most people would, would not expect to. And that's where it, it feels like, hold on, are we getting away with this? It's almost like he hasn't really hit them. Does that mean that it's not going to hit them? Maybe, maybe this is as bad as it gets. And then I just remember after 10 months, um, I had the worst possible six months because they really were all over the place. Their behaviour was erratic. Um, it was just, just completely playing havoc with, with their sense of themselves, with their sense of what, what they could trust and what they could believe in. And um, it was a particularly difficult time. And ever since then, really, it's just gone in waves. So you can have a couple of months of feeling like they're normal and they're getting on with it and they're doing quite well. And then you might have two weeks where again, they're sort of lost and you can, strangely, you can sometimes just see it in their face and their complexion that they're grieving. It sort of comes around and just affects everything about them. But you've learned some really important lessons about it that you want to share during Children's Grief Awareness Week, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there's a lot of mistakes that people will, will forgivably and typically make. Um, you know, for starters, with a parent, I think we're their guide. And if, uh, you know, I, I didn't lose Jade as such, she wasn't my partner. Um, so I was able to fortunately just focus on the children. But if you are someone who's lost a partner, I think in the early stages, it's always good to recognise that you are going to have a few months where you can't be all in everything. And you have to give yourself the time to to react and to adapt really to, to, the, to the new, your new situation, ultimately, without that person that you've lost. You can't. You can't get over grief. Mm. Children, your children, they're not going to get over it. But what you have to help them to do, as you would with yourself as well, is to manage it. Um, to share everything is, is to release and relieve. And that's far more, um, far more helpful to someone as opposed to doing what people used to do typically and still do, and that's bottle things bottle up. up. And just briefly, and I know you want to celebrate Jade, the boy's mum, rather than, like you say, have that sort of pensive moment. You have Mummy Day every mm. month, right? Right. So... Grief will very often dictate itself to you being the person who has lost some, someone. But what you can do is actually construct a day per month. For us, it's the 15th. It's not the 15th for any particular reason, but that's mummy's day every month. So we're dictating ourselves to it. And it, it becomes almost like a, 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 a day that we look forward to. Because on that day, we know that we're going to go and do something in, in mum's memory. It might be that we go and have the Jay Goody bowling sort of trophy. And it, and it, it makes it more about remembering positively instead of you know, been so hurt about what we've lost, which there will always be a time for. Um, but it is, it's a, it's a much more constructive and, and to be honest, a much more technical way of dealing with grief. But you know, that's what I've had to try and find so that they go from where they were at to, to the best possible place that they, they can be, really. It's great to hear you talking about it, uh, Jeff. And I think a lot of people feel the same way watching. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.